Today we're talking about making the right type of video. Here are examples of video content that your audience will love. There's a couple of key goals that most people want to hit with their video market. First is increasing their brand. Second is generating leads. Third is generating sales. Video can help you with all three of those. You gotta watch this whole video to learn all the tips and tricks. Winning. So guest interviews are popular for two reasons. It gets unbiased voices into your content and shows that other people outside of your company are interested in your product or service. Second, it adds credibility. Having a guest who's an expert in a specific product or field that's related to your company helps build an understanding of the foundation of your company's product or services. Customer interviews are also a really good type of video to shoot because it shows other people using your product and service and benefiting from it. Nothing will help convert more than that type of social proof. It has to be authentic though, because if it's not, It'll be cringy. It shows you have a reputable way of doing business and it shows how much you care about your customers. To that, we say, Next up, how-to videos. People love DIY stuff. They love to learn how to do things themselves. Really important to show people how to do something specific and maybe even using your product or service how to get better results. A lot of people go to YouTube just to learn new things. They'll type in a search query looking for something specific that they want to learn about. And so creating how-to videos creates collateral that will fit into those search terms. Here at Dub, we let people create super simple video landing pages within seconds using our Chrome extension, our website, and our mobile apps. Question and answer videos are a great way to connect with your audience and start a dialogue. It's a way to scale one-to-one -one communication in an engaging way. You might be answering a question for just one person, but a thousand people might watch that video and get value from that answer. One way to start out with Q&A videos is to get a list of FAQs that you commonly receive and then make a video answering them. Encourage your viewers to leave a comment on that video with more questions. That gives you a chance to follow up with more videos answering additional questions. In addition to customer reviews, testimonial videos are really valuable. The difference between a customer review and a testimonial is that a customer review is about how someone uses your product or service, whereas a testimonial video is really how it changed their life. One of the things that we created here at Dub was a montage of some of our best customer testimonials. That was a lot of fun to make. Dub is one of the tools that you want to have for your business. Develop relationships. And I'm loving it. Also try to collect product Product reviews. Find someone who's an expert in the field of reviewing products. Find users who are more enthusiastic about the technical aspects of your product and encourage them to create videos that share what they like and how they take advantage of them. This might be a detailed walkthrough of a specific feature or an overall look about how you can use the product. Product reviews can be done by your customers, you, or even affiliates if you have an affiliate program. Also consider leveraging live videos. It's hard to make live videos engaging for a long period of time, but it's a great way to to connect with customers in an immediate format. Use live videos to communicate directly with your customers in real time, answering questions, responding to comments, or just building a sense of camaraderie. It can be hard to get concurrent live viewers into live videos, so consider doing long broadcasts to allow people to join when they're available. One to two hour live videos will get better exposure than if you just do it for 30 minutes. And don't forget, after you record a live video, it'll exist on your YouTube or your Facebook account for other people to find in the future. Next up is the vlog format. Now the term vlog can be used in a lot of different contexts. Basically it just means speaking to the camera in a really authentic way about a subject that you're passionate about. For business use cases this might be showing what life is like around the office, talking about a new feature update, promoting an upcoming webinar or live stream, or converting one of your text-based blogs into video form. Next up Presentations. Presentations are one of the oldest way to present information, and the reason why they work is because they're visual. Creating a video of a presentation, even if it's a PowerPoint or some Google Slides, works really well. Find a way to share that type of presentation directly to your prospect's inbox or social channel. Product launches are a great opportunity to make a video. When you're launching a new product or feature, make a video that describes the details of that launch. Product launch videos help bring attention to your platform, keep your users active on your product or service. They're also a really good way to show the team behind your company. People really connect to that. If you're having an event, don't miss that opportunity to create videos. Events show that you're doing things in the real world and they're visually interesting. A whole bunch of people at a place doing cool things. Whether your event features speakers or it's just a meetup, there's always opportunity to create video content. Next up, animated videos. Depending on the type of animated video that you're making, it can get pretty complex pretty quickly. You probably don't want to get into 3D animation with photorealistic images, but you can use 
some more lo-fi animation formats to create compelling content. Whiteboards are great. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> For example, just make a whiteboard animation. Just set up the whiteboard, get a camera, and record yourself drawing visuals that will sync up with a voiceover that you record. Most of our phones have a time-lapse option, which is really cool for event setups or creating something. It just has a certain dynamic to it. Another cool format is creating a video series of short stories. A video series is a great strategy for creating social content. This creates a continuity that encourages your viewers to come back to your social pages or your blog to continue the story and see what happens next. The key with these short videos is to grab the attention of your potential customers by being really authentic and doing things in a new and creative way. Roundup videos are a quick rapid fire or a listicle format video that presents a lot of information like statistics or trends. People like listicles because they're entertaining, they're informational. To create roundup videos in an easy way, take content that you've already written on your blog and just turn that into video form. It's all there. <laughs> Just open the door. <laughs> Next up is behind the scenes videos. Otherwise known as BTS. Behind the scenes videos are a great way to show what's really going on around your company. It shows the culture, it shows your employees, and it really builds that human connection with your company. Document the process of launching a new product, of a team meeting, or even a marketing photo shoot. Funny skits are another form of video content, but be careful with this one, because if you try too hard to be funny, you might end up being not funny. <laughs> Otherwise, That's not good. <laughs> Don't be cringy, but you might consider working with writers that have had success creating funny skits in the past. And believe it or not, sometimes making fun of yourself is the most human and funny thing that you can do. <laughs> now let's get serious. Case study videos are almost as good as testimonial. Almost, just like, just a little bit less. Case study videos are based on statistics and people's specific success with your product or service. Case study videos often include some sort of a problem, a solution, and how specifically someone used your solution to make an improvement. These types of videos are great because they make your clients look like thought leaders and you and your solution heroic. The more factual and data-based you can make your case studies, the more honest and the more effect they're gonna have. Announcement videos are a great way to build engagement. It doesn't have to be a huge product release, just little announcements are always fun to share. <laughs> Some examples of announcement videos are product launches, new team members, press releases, or exciting things that you guys have in your pipeline. Another form are text overlay videos. Now, as you may know, a lot of people on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram watch videos without sound turned on because they're on a mobile device and in a public space. To make content for that situation, make text overlay videos that mainly use visuals and animated text to convey your message. It can have a subtle music track, but really these videos are made to be watched without sound. So those are 20 types of video content that you can start making to boost your conversions and get more sales. Right at this moment, <laughs> you can actually start. Nope, the moment's gone. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> but next moment, you can sign up for dub.com. allows you to easily send video messages on Gmail, LinkedIn, and a whole bunch of other platforms. And it's paired with video landing pages that allow multiple calls to actions and a whole bunch of other features that will boost your sales and increase your productivity. Check out all that dub has to offer at dub.com. That's it for this video and be sure to subscribe on all our channels for more updates.